Property managers and leasing agents, your job is tough enough. You don't need it to be any more difficult. Let's help you make it easy to lease those apartments. Now, over the last few videos, we've been discussing the perfect leasing process. And part of that leasing process is selecting a unit and building value in that unit. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now so you can get more leases. Let's go. All right, hopefully you have been following along with the videos on the perfect leasing process and you're all caught up. Let's just review really quick. All right, before you even start your process, the most important thing, you gotta have it, you gotta have gas for the car, you gotta have fuel for the engine. You need hot, qualified local people calling your leasing office. Now, multifamily traffic, that's what we do all day, every day. If you want your phones ringing with 10 times more hot, qualified prospects ready to sign a lease so you can walk them through the perfect leasing process, give our office a call. My people are in a hurry to help you. You can reach us at 888-683-5885. Now let's walk through those five steps to the perfect leasing process. So you've called multifamily traffic. The phone is ringing off the hook with hot, qualified local renters. The first step is you've got to greet the prospect, whether on the phone or in person, you got to greet the prospect. Then we've got to determine their wants and needs. Now, if you haven't seen the two videos on greeting the prospect and determining the wants and needs, go back and watch those. They're terrific. They're going to help you tremendously. Now, the next step that we're going to talk about right now is selecting a unit and building value in that unit. That leaves us with just making a proposal and closing the lease. All right. So let's talk about selecting a unit and building value in that unit. Okay, so let's say we've greeted the prospect, we walked them through that process, um, we've determined their wants and needs. This is a um, single woman, she's an attorney, she loves to cook, um, she's looking for a two bedroom apartment on a higher floor because she's gonna use that second bedroom as an office. We asked her what she would like to see first, doesn't really care that much about the common areas, um, she works out at Pilates, um, you checked it, it was Pilates Evolution is where she works out. You went and did your homework and it's only a mile away from the property. She could walk it, she could bike it. Um, view is very important to her because you, you checked with her on determining wants and needs. She does a ton of work out of the home. So whether she, when she's not in trial or meeting with clients, she's working there in her home office. So a view is gonna be very important to her. She also loves to cook. We've determined her wants and needs. Kitchen is very, very important to her. She loves to cook. All right, so now we're gonna sit down and do our homework. Now, when they call, this is as easy as pie because after you can say, hey, I've got some great units in mind. You've gone ahead and scheduled that appointment. She's gonna be there at Wednesday at two. You can sit down and write some notes on exactly what she's looking for. And if you've seen it in my other videos, you better know your inventory. Know your inventory, people. So now you can start to match up your inventory with what that particular person wants. So as we're selecting a unit and building value in that unit, we're gonna cancel all this garbage of, I'm just gonna let people show up and I'm just gonna throw a bunch of stuff against the wall and see what sticks. And I'm gonna show her two bedrooms here. I'm gonna show her two bedrooms there. Of course, gotta walk her through Got to walk her through the uh, business center tour and all that stuff that she doesn't want to see. Let me show you the fitness center, even though you told me you love Pilates Evolution. Let's go ahead and select a unit. Now, as you're looking at selecting a unit, I would like you to select two to three units tops. And ideally, I really only want you showing two, and that third is just going to be a backup because all you're doing at that point is confusing that renter. So we're going to look at what are her needs. Okay office. She's going to be home a lot. So let me look at my inventory. What would be the best second bedroom that I can have? I believe she said, and we, we, you'd have this in your notes, higher floor. So let me see. Ideally, maybe I don't have one that's perfect on a higher floor, but I have this beautiful view of the pool on a lower floor, but it's still quiet. She's not going to be bothered at work. Maybe I'm going to show her that one first. Okay. Then the second one that I'm going to show her Let's say the office is fantastic, but the view's not as spectacular, but the kitchen is dynamite. Now, hopefully I would have something with a great second office and a amazing kitchen and the most spectacular view. All right, it's YouTube, baby. That's what I should be showing you. No, I don't wanna do that. 
your friend in leasing in life. You know how the real world works. The real world works with you don't always have the perfect unit for that renter. So if you do, great. If not, the beautiful thing about determining their wants and needs, we know that the office is the most important thing to her. The second most important thing to her is what? It's the view from the office because she's gonna be spending the majority of her time not in the bedroom, not in the office, not in uh, the kitchen, which is the third thing that she loves. She loves to cook, but that's a backup. That's The office is senior to everything else. So that's why we're gonna select two to three units, tops. I'm gonna have that third one as I'm, I'm gonna have that as a backup. So when she shows up, boom, I'm gonna go through the greet process uh, again. Cheryl, it's great to see you again, or even better, I'm gonna be sitting down at my desk, I'm working, somebody comes in, I'm gonna smile. Remember the greet video, I'm gonna smile, I'm gonna make eye contact. Hey, it's a great day at Oak Brook Towers. What brings you in? What can I get you information on? Oh, I'm Cheryl, we had a 2 p.m. appointment. Cheryl, that's right, oh, it's so great to put a face with the name. I'm Matt, we talked on the phone. Thank you so much for keeping your appointment. I'm so busy here, I love it when people keep their appointments. Listen, Cheryl, based on our conversation, your attorney, correct me if I'm wrong, your attorney, you're gonna be spending a lot of time working from home, so the office is critical for you. We want it, we'd like to have a good view in that office, hopefully on you know, a higher floor, maybe a quieter area of the community, and hey, when you're stressed out and you're working so hard all the time, you love to cook, the kitchen is also very, very important. Now check this out, here's what you need to say. Cheryl, does that match what you had in mind? Did I miss anything? You're gonna blow their minds that you care so much that not only are you summarizing everything that you learned, but you're asking them, you're making sure, does that have, does that match what you had in mind and did I miss anything? Cheryl may say, oh well, you know, I forgot closets are very important to me. Now is an opportunity after they say, oh no, you're great, or closets, great, you're gonna have your sword and shield with you and you're gonna write down that note, closets. You're gonna make sure you write that down. If she says that's great, and no, you didn't miss anything, this is critical. Always say this before you're showing them that unit you selected. Hey, since we talked, has anything else changed? Well, you just said, Matt, you just said, hey, does that match what you had in mind? Did I miss anything? Aren't you being repetitive by saying, has anything else changed? And here's why I want you to do both of those. When I go through my list of what's important to her and why I determine those units for her. The reason why I'm saying, does that match what you had in mind, is I'm bringing her an agreement with me. And I'm showing her that I'm knowledgeable, that I'm a professional, and that I care enough to select the right unit. And that puts me in the best position to build value in that unit. When I say, did I miss anything? That triggers her brain to go back through that list. Again, we're concreting the value in that list. And then she's gonna maybe add to that a few things. Now, when I say, has anything changed? Whole different part of her brain. This is gonna give her an opportunity to go, oh, you know, I, I checked with my lease at my current apartment. I, th I thought it was up on the 15th. It's actually up on the 7th. Is that gonna be a problem? That's probably good for you. Maybe you, now you can close her a little bit more. Let's say it's bad for you. Oh man, that unit 406, that's not gonna be available until the 15th. So now it gives me an opportunity to say, you know, one of the units I was going to show you, I think it's a great fit. It's actually not available till the 15th, but I do have another unit that's dynamite, fantastic. I can get you in there on the 7th. You want to do all of this before you start building value in that unit. Why? Because you're just going to kill yourself when it comes time to make that proposal and say, hey, we can get you in here for $27.50 a month and, you know, it's going to be ready for you on the 15th. That's where she's gonna go, oh, I forgot to tell you. I need to be in on the seventh. Boom, sale, done. You're not gonna close it. Now you gotta go and resell her on something else. That's why we're gonna ask that, has anything changed? The beautiful thing about setting this all up before you show the unit, think about what your objections are gonna be. Really, think about that. How many objections are they gonna have if they just show up and you're like, I'm gonna show you this two bedroom, I'm gonna show you that two bedroom, we're gonna walk through here, we're gonna walk through there. They're just gonna be kicking tires the whole time. Ah, I don't like that, I don't like that, that window's too small, that window's too big. When you walk them through everything in their list, 
there's not that much they can object to because they've, you've given them multiple opportunities to say, this is important to me. You forgot about this or this has changed. So let's get that all done out front. All right, now we're gonna say, after we've gone through that list, let's say nothing's changed. Uh, there's nothing they wanna add to the list. Cheryl, I'm gonna show you unit 406 first. The reason why I wanna show that to you first is as we walk in, we're gonna turn to the left and you're gonna be greeted by this amazing office, all right? If I was working from an office, and by the way, I even asked the owners of the property, can I make this place my office? They said no. <laughs> this is an amazing, amazing, amazing office. I love the light, I love the view, I love where this unit sits on the property. It's terrific, and I think you're gonna love it too. So I wanna, I wanna just walk in and check out that office first. Secondly, what comes to mind with this unit is the kitchen. It's got these amazing quartz countertops, stainless steel appliances. It's, the kitchen's right off of the office. The bedroom is, you gotta go past the kitchen to get to the bedroom, so you're really gonna feel like you're in the office when you're in the office. You're not gonna feel like your office is a second part of your bedroom. That's why I wanna show you that unit first. Now, the second unit that we're gonna look at, it's got an okay office, it's, it's great, I love it. The kitchen is dynamite in the second one, but I believe the office is the most important thing to you. So I wanna show you this 406 first. Then you're gonna walk her through that. And as we're in 406, we're gonna have our sword and our shield with us. We're gonna have a big Sharpie, preferably. And we're gonna literally put things down in writing office, um, 850 square feet, it's $23.95 a month. We're gonna put it all in writing and we're gonna show that to her and we're gonna make a proposal. Now we're gonna cover that in the next video on how to make a proposal. Now making a proposal is different than closing, so stick to the process, trust the process, everybody. All right, so study this, I want you to work on this, I want you to work on selecting units and building value in those units. Think about the why. Why are you showing this to them? Why is this important to them? Now, if you're having any problems at all with selecting a unit and building a value in that unit for the why, guess what you did wrong? Determining their wants and needs. So go back, if you're having any problems with this, go back and watch the how to greet the prospect and then more importantly, how to determine their wants and needs. This whole process builds on each other. Practice, practice, practice. I'll see you on the next video, which is making a proposal. Until that video, I'm Matt Easton, your friend in leasing and life. If you need anything at all from training to making the phones ring, call my office. My people know where to find me. 888-683-5885. Be great and get those leases. Are you ready to double your leases in 60 days? I'm Matt Easton and I'll help you build a world-class property management team that wins your community's leases in less time with half the work. Learn elite leasing techniques, marketing strategies, and resident retention tools. Having a world-class system that delivers predictable leases, renewals, referrals, and positive property reviews is a fantasy that most portfolios, property managers, and leasing agents only dream of. If you've begun to think it's not possible for your communities to achieve the highest levels of daily motivation and property staff engagement, think again. If you thought that you can't implement a system for signing leases and retaining residents with complete efficiency, think again. If you don't think you can hit your occupancy targets at every one of your communities ahead of schedule and under budget, think again. Not only is it possible, but I can get you there with a Leasing University Bootcamp. While operating with complete leasing and resident retention perfection may be the target for the elite, other properties struggle with simple day-to-day -day challenges that if resolved could create a substantial impact in their ability to lease apartments and increase rents. Do any of these sound familiar to you? How do I set goals and plan my day on property? How do I answer calls to the leasing office in a specific way that drives 250% more leases? How do I tour the property and show units in the most effective and efficient way to get the lease signed? How do I handle every single objection that a renter can throw at me? 
How do I close the lease using a simple and repeatable approach that works just about every single time? How do I flood my community with positive online reviews from residents? How do I master resident referrals and lease renewals? How can I fill a pipeline with an endless supply of hot, qualified prospects looking to sign a lease at my apartment community? How do I stay on top of my game and accelerate my career in property management? The answers to these questions elude most property management professionals their entire career until now. I'm Matt Easton and I've helped everyone from individual property managers to the largest REITs build, implement, and execute leasing processes that deliver leases with predictable, record-breaking results. If you want to know more about Multifamily Traffic's Leasing University Boot Camps, call our offices today at 888-683-5885. I'm going to help you be positive, get motivated, get leases, and achieve all of your career goals in property management.